<laughs> oh man. So this week I've been off of work a couple days. I have a couple vacation days. So I'm taking care of business, you know, talking to financial advisors. I'm getting all my errands in check. You know, I'm, I'm trying to stop renting so I can move out and buy my own house. You know, I'm dealing with grown up stuff right now. And I'm uh, reprising my Beatles shirt. But oh my God. <sighs> Every single day, I've been getting anger and rage towards me from little uh, Blood on the Dance Floor fans. You know, like, kind of how dare I have my own opinion on what I think is good music and what is not. What an asshole I am. So I have to apologize. Mm, I do. Dear Blood on the Dance Floor fans, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for expressing my opinion and you guys didn't like that. I'm sorry that no matter what you say to me, I'm still gonna think Blood on the Dance Floor is shit music. I'm sorry that you guys think we live in Oceania or something and that everybody has to like the same thing. Yeah, that was an Orwell reference in one of my rants. I'm not gonna explain it further, like you just have to wait till you go further in high school and read the book. I'm sorry that your first reaction to somebody's opinion is just pure, unadulterated hate <laughs> over the internet. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry that you're calling this the greatest band ever. And I'm sorry, but that is an insult to, you know, the Rolling Stones and the Who, Steve Miller Band, the Beatles, you know, Rush. And I you were thinking like, oh, well, you can't do that. Like, you can't make music like they can. No, you're right. I don't make electronica shit, but I'm going to try right now. I'm going to try to make better music than them. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry that your only defense is haters make them famous. Now, okay, not all attention is good attention. Simple as that. I realize that I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, which is fine, I don't care. But I have plenty of people that enjoy, you know, listening to me rant and talk, so, and I love those guys, so there you go. Haters may make them famous, but it's not gonna make them liked. You know what I mean? I still don't think it's a positive thing and I will fight you to the death with that because I'm over the internet and I'm giving my opinion over the internet and I'm right and you're wrong. You know, little, little, what's his name? Davi Vanity says, you know, don't give a fuck about what other people say. DGAF what people think, you know. So why are you worried about what I gotta say? Clearly I don't enjoy them. Like, you're not gonna change my mind. I'm not gonna change your mind about it. So what are we arguing about? Kids, let's talk some real talk right now. When I was in high school, okay, I did some pretty stupid shit. I dressed like a punk rocker. I listened to, I listened to death metal. You know, I listened to Opeth and, and Arch Enemy. Uh, what else did I listen to? Cradle of Filth. Like I listened and, and I listened to AFI. I realized they're not death metal, but I, I still kind of like them. But if I put into effect a lot of the ideas that I had when I was younger, like I wanted to get AFI tattooed on myself. I wanted to get a heartogram tattooed. I swear to God, thank the Lord I didn't do that. Oh, regret city. But we all have these stupid things that we like when we're younger, you know? No one, no one's patronizing you for that. It's just this mindset, I say. It's so just obsessive and just angry. It's like, go listen to your music, enjoy it. But you gotta realize that there's people out there that just aren't gonna like it. The Beatles are like my top favorite band of all time. I will always like the Beatles. I've liked them since I was six years old. And you know, in my head, I'm like, how can people not like them? But I know that there are people out there that don't like them. But what, what can I do about it? Am I gonna go and tell them that they are bad people because we have different music choices? So little blood on the dance floor folks, go ahead, go ahead, enjoy your music. I'm gonna go listen to my iPod filled with music that's good to me. Because you know what, at the end of the day, music that really sticks with you 
you have your own interpretations about it. Listen to the song Tangled Up in Blue by Bob Dylan. Like, the lyrics are meaningful, but they'll have a different meaning to everybody. I'm sorry, but how much meaning can we get out of My love is unrestricted, you know you want to lick this. Am I right? I think I'm right. I'm out of here. I'll see you later, bitches.